I, I mean, I haven't seen that dude in a long time. So, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. As we have two minutes till showtime, so, uh, I think he might want to gather me. I have no clue what you're talking about. But, you did just see that? Okay, I officially, alright, so, death is a ghost. I'm just going to just say that right now. Anyway, and, really and, wait, 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 what, I'm, I'm not, what, no, 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 anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the show will be starting in two minutes, one minute, one minute, the show will be starting, ladies and gentlemen, so please, make some noise, get crazy, come on, and batch insane, this is going to be a phenomenal event! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, Rainbow Falcon here. I am alongside VW's own current primary shareholder. That'd be Mr. Austin Knight. And boy, we have one hell of a show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Am I right, Mr. Austin? Yes, there's no other shows I put on but Austin. I think uh, see? See, there you go, straight from the horse's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> horse's mouth, huh? Oh, it's, it, it, come, come on now. It, 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 you gotta at least have some fun. And, oh, hold up. Looks like the Omegatron uh, is, looks like something's about to happen. Oh, wait a second, this is unexpected. Ladies and gentlemen, making her way is uh making her way out here is uh Ronnie Patel. I know she's a, I know she has a match like you know that's it's supposed to be an open match, but uh, it looks like she came out here a little bit uh, faster than anticipated. And so Ronnie. Awesome, what do you think about, about Ronnie? And, oh, whoa, wait a second. I think you do a crappy job of actually guarding the mics at the dancer's desk. That's what I think. Hey, she, I was hypnotized by her hips. Her hips don't lie. Really? What? Uh <sighs> Anyway, let's see what the Ronnie Patel has to say tonight. As Ronnie Patel says, Namaste. 
VW Universe. That means kind greetings in my native Hindi. I am very, very, very pleased to be back with all you tonight at the beautiful new Olympus Coliseum. Thank you, thank you. You're also very, very, very wonderful. I just flew back from Bollywood for me from my next movie, Sing is Bing. You will all like it very, very, very much. So I want to speak to you about this. This pro wrestling, you call it. It is so very, very, very different than the Mali Yuda I studied under my guru, the great Sahid, Parwani heavyweight champion of all of India. Wow. So she definitely trained other champions. So much kicking, punching, and flying like monkeys. It is so unnecessary when you are so very, very, very good at those locks and holds. Like me. And she has that big old smile on her face. <laughs> My guru always told me, find your inner peace and use that greater power and peace to overwhelm your opponents into submission. I also see that some of my fellow wrestlers here are so very, very, very angry or crazy and are not a good sport. Take for instance, the one called Horses. She is so very, very, very full of dirty tricks and bad Mahi Yuda. I do not think of her karma as worth of a horse, but I pray for her, though she might only be a horse fly in her next life. Ooh. Perhaps I can help her find goodness and inner peace when I make her submit to one of my many locks. Yes, I think my jungle python leg lock will help her find her peace. Um, she has a disturbing smile. It's too happy. <laughs> Enjoy the show, VW Universe. Now let's have my opponent come out. All right. Well, uh, this is actually so uh, interesting. So, as I guess, uh, Vani doesn't like uh, horses that much. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be introducing the opponent from East Point, Michigan, weighing 135 pounds and high of 5 foot 8. She is Alexa Zlakis. And currently in the ring right now, standing at a height of 5 foot 8, weighing 155 pounds, and she hails from Ambala, Sydney, India, the typhoon, Rani Patel. I swear, that was so sugar coated, I would have got a fucking cavity from it if I was eating it. Hey, I mean, candy's good. You truly don't get what I'm saying. It's like, hey, Alex, how are you? No. Yes, my head is getting cold because 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 my boss took my hat. How about this, Alex? You give me a hat. <laughs> Fine, I'm, I'm not rooting for you for this match, right? Fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as looks like uh, Ronnie was just stretching out in the match way for uh, Alexa.
But this is going to be an interesting uh, match, definitely. As Vani looks like she's she's not really focused on uh, Alexa. However, she's focused actually on horses. Which is a mistake, since as Alex just said in the ring, she's beat her last time. That's true, as uh, Vani Patel bows as a ref is asking to see if both opponents are ready. And I have un have beyond a shadow of doubt, no doubt that uh, this is going to be a, a good match between Alexa and Ronnie. As it looks like, oh, there goes a the bell as both opponents go straight into a lockup. Now, sir, wh uh, what can you tell me much about Ronnie Patel? Well, from, especially from hearing her earlier, she's very naive, for one. Mm. She's still only focusing on that style she came in with. She hasn't adjusted to the style here in the VWE. She thinks True. it's just holds and fair play when it actually is much more. And like Alexa, you have to have the drive to succeed. That's true, but, I mean, if you've seen Ronnie Patel, she's been improving week after week, and, I mean, she has done very good, and the crowd is definitely behind us. Oh, there she goes for a pin! Let's be at one! And, oh, only a one count. But here's also the counterpart. Um, Alexa, I've, I've known Alexa for a while. She's actually, like, a mystic... She's very mysterious in some, in some ways. I mean, I still don't quite know, like, you know, like, w what her primary goal is. You know what I mean? And you're but clearly not paying attention. Her primary goal would always be what anyone's here is success and that title goal. That's right, and I mean as I mean I've known Alexa for those vicious kicks that she has. I mean she has a very uh, wide variety of, of, of signature kicks. I mean she could pretty much knock people out with those legs of hers. Uh, she just stomps away on Ryan Patel using her leg and oh then she goes for a pin. Let's be it one and only a one count. Well, those kicks you've mentioned are an advantage she has while Miss Ronnie Patel is using holds and not any strikes at all. We have Alex right here who will use holds but also kick your head off at a moment's notice. True, but would you admit that uh, Ronnie Patel has more of a pure wrestling style as, oh, there she goes, rolling up quickly from that e-drop. Pure wrestling style? Does this look like Greco Roman to you? Um, I mean, it's not quite Greco-Roman, but, I mean, it could be as there goes Alexa, as there goes Ronnie as, oh, she has the Typhoon Ronnie! Wait, she actually seriously called it that? And then she goes straight into uh, her scary scorpion deathlock. Now, if she had any sense to develop to this style, she would get a firm grip on those laces and pull that right back. True, I look, but it looks like Alexa is not moving anytime soon. Money's just pulling her back into the middle of the ring now, as Alexa's trying to claw, trying to claw straight back into those ropes. I mean, that's a long ways for her. And she's trying. And Ronnie is just trying to keep her still, but but Alexa is just using her upper body to just drag Ronnie back to those ropes. And she manages to grab the ropes, and the ref is calling it. Ronnie's going to have to let go. So Alexa, much yes. secure. Yeah, I guess not. She's got the, the ropes, ref's... and she's holding on. That doesn't seem so pure to me. That's true, but I think she didn't realize it, so, you know, until the ref actually told her, so. The ref told her, then started counting, and then she finally took that hold off. Yep, but uh, here comes Rania, she's begun to uh, drag Alexa away now. So, oh, that's right, drop right across the chest of Alex. 
Uh, she's go for the pin. Will this be it? One, two, and nope. Only a two count. But I actually find something interesting from what Vani said earlier that she trained under the great, uh, whew, what was that name? Uh, it was someone great. Something that you don't have in common with him, apparently. That's like the, the great Sa Sahib Pel Pelwani as, as the World Heavyweight Champion of India, so. I mean, if she trained under a person like that, I mean, hell, I mean, she, she could have been like the woman's champion over there in India. Do you even know who that is? No idea, but I trust Vani. If you don't know who that is, what makes you think he was in Oh! Bicycle kick right to Ronnie's head! And apparently he didn't teach her how to ch counter a freaking kick to the head. I don't know, man, but the, I mean, the only type of martial arts I know is from Cobra Kai. No mercy! And oh, there goes the uh, oh boy, as both of these women are exchanging punches us left, right, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B. Stop button. And oh, need to gut as whoa, what is it? As, oh, high knee by Alexa. Once again, she was talking about pure wrestling style, and there she was, throwing fists. That's right, how, that's right, how, however, I think she's, as Vani said before, she's trying to adapt into the style of wrestling. Oh, there she goes, and, oh, quick leg sweep by Ronnie. Sweep the leg. That's right, it looks like Ronnie is getting right behind us. Oh boy, she's, she has that Punjab spine adjuster locked in right now. As this is very bad for Alex, and her back has must must be like killing her right now. And Ronnie no, no. that seems a little below the chin. Yeah, I, I don't know either, but I mean, I, I'm sure. I mean, no, as Ronnie is asking if she could give up now. Would it be nice to have people just you know just give up if you ask them. Those would be people I'd be firing. True, true, true. But uh, as Alex, as Alexa is saying, stop asking. And, oh, it looks like uh, Alex is firing back. She she stand up. And oh, wait a second, Ronnie has a German suplex. One, two. Oh, only a two count. It was not Lesnar style. Anyway, as we go back into the match, as Ronnie is, as Ronnie is, Ronnie is close, Ronnie is, I mean, Ronnie thought that that was it, but, uh, looks like she's picked up Alexa now. Uh, she tosses her right to the ropes, and here comes, uh, here comes Alex. Says, "Oh, she went for a clothesline, but Alex missed, knocking down Alfie. Oh no! Why do I hire that guy at all? He falls like a freaking leaf in the wind. I don't know, but it looks like they're this bad as as the referee got knocked down. As Alex is, as both both of them are looking at down the ref, making sure they're good, that, that he's good at uh Looks like uh, Ronnie's trying to wake the ref up, but oh my God! I rank by Alexa taking advantage of the down ref as oh kick between the legs. Oh my God! Between the legs, that was clearly in that lower abdominals. What? I sir, sir, with due respect, you, that's a bullshit. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, look, look, look at Ronnie right now. She's holding on, and that that has got to hurt. She's holding her abdominals. Jeez. Oh, I got 
and there goes Kitsuke. Okay. Oh, there goes Alexa. She gets those chops and oh, right to uh, the left punch. The left punch again with those chops. And oh my god, Alexa's just going to town and oh my god, big ol' elbow. So you're, gonna, you're not going to say she cheated there or anything? No, no, I'm not, but Alfie's still down right now. Al Alfie needs to get back up. And I mean, I mean, Alexa just took full advantage of the, of the eye rake as she tosses right into the corner. And Alfie is just getting back up right now. Thank you, long enough. And Alex is just, oh, with those knee to the gut. I mean, and oh my god, Alexa's just going to town on Ronnie right now. And, oh, big old monkey from taking Ronnie out. See? Unlike Ronnie Patel, who wouldn't let go of a hold as soon as the ref said it, Alex took this immediately out of the corner as soon as the ref asked. Right, uh, looks like, uh, looks like uh, Alex is not done yet. And she says, time to end this. Oh, and she goes for a low right hand. Oh, my God. That was a straight. Well, looks like it's going to be another loss in her streak. Oh, man. As, as it looks like uh, Alex is going for the pin. The ref is going to be counting one, two, and no. Sir, you are perhaps wrong right now. For France, Alfie is kind of a little slow after that headshot earlier. Yeah, but it looks like Alex is just staring, staring down at Alfie right now, asking if he knows how to count. And it looks like Alex is livid. Well, wouldn't you be? She clearly had that in the bag if the ref wasn't going so slow. I don't know, but uh, there goes Alex as she turned around, and right, where, there's Ronnie. As, oh, Ronnie has her bear hug right now. And oh, right over to a belly to belly. <sighs> Clearly, this is just a tragedy right here. Oh my god, it might be a tragedy. I don't know for who though. Clearly, for Alex, she had this in the bag, and then the ref couldn't even count a simple three. As Ronnie goes for a leg drop. And oh, oh wait a second, there she goes. And she got that, she's putting that jungle python lock right now. And, and oh my god, the pain right to Alex's legs right now as Ronnie's taking full advantage. Ronnie's well, there twisted. you go, she's pulling herself to the ropes. While her bragging, her holds don't seem to be all that tight and inescapable. Yep, but she's trying to grab those. Oh my god, and Ronnie's pulling her right back in. Oh, come on. I clearly saw her fingers on the rope. That should have been a rope break right there. So, with all respect, I did not. <laughs> well, this is not what I pay you for. I pay you to announce. It looks like a, oh my god, it looks like a, a Ronnie's just keeping that hold in, and Alexa's thinking about it. <laughs> Alexa's thinking about it. And I mean, she, I don't know. I mean, and, oh, there's, oh my god, there's the tap out! That's Alexa's tapping out. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match is... The Typhoon, Vani Patel. And our clear tragedy here. I wish she's doing now. She's picking her up to gloat. I don't think so. I think Vani Patel actually picked up to have a. Oh, I guess she went for it. Oh my god, and Alex is just. Nope. Alex did not like that at all. And she's just going to tell him Ronnie right now. And, oh my god. 
And good. Good for Alex. The ref couldn't do his job right, so she made sure she did the right thing and showed Ronnie Patel she didn't earn anything here tonight but just Alex's wrath. Oh, my God. Really, sir? Ah. Uh. She may have lost the match, but she got the moral victory here. I don't know more of it, but uh, it looks like I'm getting a, a, a call from a uh, Twitter right now by a uh, by a uh, uh, Jenny from the block right now. So uh, this is from Twitter, as this is this is actually right now trending on Twitter worldwide. <laughs> as I don't know what Jenny of the block. Yes. Don't bullshit. Okay, but it looks like, uh, I mean, my wife tell us is mad right now, but. <laughs> nice way to change subjects there. I'm master. I mean, I did change subjects. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as we'll be moving on throughout the event for tonight, as uh, it looks like, uh, t I mean, from that match, I mean. Well, I mean, it looks uh, like we should be heading to a commercial break. So. Okay, so advertisements, okay. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, so for the advertisements, we have the Jazz Club, which used to be located right beside V2V. I don't know where it is right now. It's just some weird pyramid. Uh, the former DWRT, which has uh, disbanded. Uh, yeah, and Simple Desires. So, <clears throat> am I ready for this? And by those words, right? Team Wildfire! Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking to up your arsenal blazing hot videos? Team Wildfire can make that happen for 100% custom videos as well as a fire package. Catch our classes on youtube.com slash Lila Team Wildfire. Cat, uh, contact Lila Phoenix or yours truly, Captain Falcon. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn. Club Galaxy. At Club Galaxy, our aim is to be the best that we can possibly be while having fun doing it. Our staff is always looking to go so that we can continue to be the best that we can. And with that being said, we are always looking for new and exciting talent to help us do that. Whether you are a DJ, a host, or have something unique to offer us in our relaxed atmosphere, we are looking for you. Whenever you come and visit us at Club Galaxy, located on the Three Rivers Sim, you'll find friendly, fun-loving people located looking to have a blast listen to the awesome tunes our DJs are playing from a variety of categories including any requests you might have. So come join us at Club Galaxy and be ready to have some fun. Open seven days a week where you and open seven days a week anytime from 10 a.m. SLT to 10 p.m. SLT. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is a 12 hour shift. Hope to see you there. For more information please contact John Struck, Struck to Resident. Nikki Struck, Nikki Zong, or Alicia T. Michaels, Pulse Money Bags Trice. <clears throat> so we'd like to take the uh, rest, of, rest of the card, or I guess I can do your job for you. Oh, all right. Uh, let Let's me just pass see. you a card. I got it. Unlike okay. you, I actually have the proper paperwork. <laughs> Now as you left off at Club Galaxy, I will go forward. Do you want to learn more about your favorite SL wrestlers in Second Life? TyrusDenovo.blogslot.com has your information on your favorite SL wrestlers. Updated all the time with new interviews. If you're interested, contact Tyrus Denova Cerebri in World. Get Like Me Big Baby Animations by Derek Cole giving you brand new animations and custom moves in the world of professional wrestling in Second Life. For more information, contact Derek Cole in World. And fans of fun, Push to Start is here to provide you with a place where you can have fun in a stress-free environment. Brought to you by Alicia T. Michaels, a.k.a. Pulse Moneybags Trice, Push to Start is not your typical arcade. At Push to Start, not only can you have fun and post your high scores, but you can also enjoy a movie theater updated often with movies, both new and old. 
as well as a hangout where you can chill and have fun with periodic events to keep you entertained. At Push to Start, our aim is to make sure you have fun here and with us as are uh, well entertained. With things such as competition-based co- contests to prove that you are the best player and earn rewards and prizes. Special events and more come into the future. Be sure to come back often for all the latest and become a VIP t- VIP today and keep up with all the latest we have to offer. We hope you here at we hope to see you here at Push to Start. And I'm going to let you finish us off. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to VW tonight as we are part of your entertainment. Please feel free to donate any possible linens behind this commentary table in the collection box right behind us. Any and all donations are certainly appreciated. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been looking for a way to promote yourself for your place of business outside the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds, or you, if you want your product or services to be seen and heard from a live studio audience as well as on demand, well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Virtual Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your product and services as we promote you throughout our arena, on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and our show replays. Please feel free to contact Ash Cuervo, Frankie Huntress, Austin Knight, as you know, big boss man right next to me, or Bryce Ketterly Resident. That has been the ad boards, and let's move on. on. Harry, you said for 10 Lindens? Wait, what? If you make that 100 Lindens, we have a deal. Hey, hey, no, 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 hey, that's what I have, that's what I have, no, 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 please don't, please don't. God, my, my hat is priceless. Well, it has my signature inside it. And it has other stuff that no one needs to know about. 50. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, maybe, can't we move on? No, I'm still staying with 50. <laughs> Come on, let's just move on with the show. How about 45? Oh, uh, I hate you. They, they, they want my, they want my hat. Come on, I. It... Forty. Uh, how about that? Nine ninety nine. How about that? We'll have to talk about more about us later, but we'll definitely come down to the deal. Oh my God! Can we like, let, let's move on with the show, please? Just so I can get my hat back. You're not getting that back today. Oh, come on. <laughs> As, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Uh, oh, really? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was either. It looks like production is, uh, production is, is drunk right now. It seems so. As they seem to have lost the video. Wow, really? Well, if I remember right, weren't you and Mr. Falcon supposed to check before the show they had all the videos? Uh, yes. Uh, did no one... Damn it, no one sends me anything with... Oh, Jesus Christ, I, I don't have to do... Are you really there. blaming this on other people? Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as production team, as we have a production team in the back that does not know how to uh, play the correct videos or find the right videos on our super secret uh, checklist that is on... That's on Google. Uh-huh. Plus, and it I isn't mean, the fault of the person who makes the videos at all. 
Well, if I'm actually getting told that, uh, get told from the other production person that it wasn't her fault. Yes, because it was your fault. You were to make sure to make sure they had all the right video. Not my problem. It is now. Hi, yo. By the way, Harry, I might be willing to go lower now after this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, as the I as the production team in the back is actually trying to get things working right. How about us talk about what's been going on throughout the WWE? I mean, the hell, we had a phenomenal free review known as Six V Under. And oh, never mind. Oh, damn. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um. This is very unexpected, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the one-man record crew, Ramba Yoshiro! <laughs> I don't know, one-man record crew doesn't sound very efficient to me. cut my music. Huh. Ah. Ah. Just be glad you're the boss there, Mr. Knight. Smart ass. Anyway. Um. Yeah, so I figured I'd come out here and explain my actions from six feet under. And and if he wants to come out, it'd be appreciated. Maxwell! Maxwell Ryan! Come bring your ass out to the ring. I know he's not happy. Oh, boy. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Really? Whoa, whoa. Reschedule the meeting for next week. I'm about to wait, go. Wait, wait. Oh, man. Settle down. Settle the hell down. I'm, I'm being calm. Just calm. You know, keep your panties on. Relax. Now. You know, you can come out here and be mad at me for costing you your chance at the VW World Heavyweight title. But, you have to admit, it's your own damn fault. I warned you <laughs> to not get my family involved in our business. What did you do? You chose to anyway. You know, I told you that if you kept involving my family, I would make your life a living hell. Oh, God. Blah, 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 blah. Is that all you're going to do to talk my ear off? Do you have a point to this? You're delaying uh, your ass kick. No! Oh, settle down there, jerky. God, relax. And let me finish. As much as I love making your life a living hell, I think, you know, this little chapter needs to come to a close. You wanted to involve what is near and dear to me and my sister. So I want to do the same for you. I propose this. Next week, you and me in this very ring. For your BWE international title. The only reason why I am accepting this is for pretty much the same as yours. But if you want to be the one making offers, then how about this for a counter? We make next week no holds barred. So there is no excuses and nothing holding me back to get my revenge on you. 
also, whoever wins doesn't get a title rematch. This is going to be a one and done deal. All right, I agree to that. But after this, you leave my family alone. <laughs> oh, God. You know, after I finally put you down and retained my title, <laughs> then maybe your sister would reconsider my offer when she realizes that I am the better man than her own brother. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh dear! Oh no! Oh my god! Wait a second! This is not- Oh my god! Blasting Capirama! <laughs> and once again, he's gotta go to freaking Thug Tactics like his friend there, Kurt Von Bastic. <laughs> well, we all know how you've never beat me in a title match before. Oh, be prepared to lose. <laughs> oh, Jesus, as Rama just pretty much laid out Maxwell. Could, could this be a sign of what's going to be happening? <laughs> what? That Rama can get cheap shots? I don't know, man, but. As I think Maxwell did not like that at, at all. I mean, I mean, Mac, I mean, Maxwell accepted the challenge, but that's going to be very interesting of what will be happening. And it's going to be a no holds barred match. And it's going to be a one done deal. Whoever wins the title does not need to face the other one for the title again for as long as they hold it. I hope Mr. Yoshio. It's a nice close look at that title next week, because that was the last time he sees it for a very long time. Right. But ladies and gentlemen, as we have other things in store for you guys tonight. So uh, let's see, what else do we have in store? Oh, I see that we have a... Uh, something's in store. Oh, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. So what are you going for was... now? Let's actually get on to the next match. And since you can't do this right, I'll bring out the first person. Okay. And once again, do you give him anything right? Oh, what, what do you mean? This isn't my fault. Uh huh. I don't know what I don't know what's going on right now. Well, anyways, from Doctor Frickenfurter's castle, weighing at two hundred and forty-five pounds and standing at six foot three. Here comes Slade. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I don't see him. Ah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as I apologize for whatever obstruction of media that we have currently right now because of technical difficulties. AKA, I blame the production team. Well, until we get that fixed, I think you should bring out his other opponent. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, that, that, that is from from Clemson, South Carolina, weighing two hundred eight pounds, a height of six foot nothing. He is perfection, Bryce Kettley. I'm going to tell you right now, Bryce Kessley had a phenomenal match at 6 feet under against Jeffrey Fireguard for that, for that VWE Edge title. Sadly to say, he did not win the title, but it was a phenomenal match altogether. But I think he, got, I think he heard the news about what happened with, uh, with Benja you know, winning the title, but Jesus Christ, he must be pissed. Cut the music. Uh oh. Alright, so my opponent actually wants to say that he has a media issue, really? And that's his problem? Uh, apparently so. My friends, like I said, even though I lost to Jeffrey Fireguard at six feet under. Oh, oh, now he's going to show up. Now he's going to show up. There we go. Um, I guess we're ready. Uh, as this is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from Dyker Frankenfurter's Castle, where 245 pounds, a high of 6'3", he is slayed. Now, what the hell is that on the stage? Holy hell! Well, this is going to be an interesting match to commentate as the show is coming back at 100% capacity, hopefully. So uh, as we're trying to, as as we are at hard work trying to keep everything you know up and running, as uh, I don't know what's up, but it looks like uh, some rats got into the back of the uh, production team and decided to scare off our main uh, person. However, ladies and gentlemen, as as it looks like our opponent is ready. And. It's, uh, as I said, this is going to be an interesting match. As the bell has been rung, ladies and gentlemen, as we have Bryce Kelly take out Slade. It's going to be kind of interesting to see. Well, Bryce and, was a ooh. champion. Slade was in something Bryce has never been, and that was uh, Elimination, though. 
True, but uh, you, you, this is going to be an interesting match. I mean, you have a former world heavyweight champion, Basketsley, and we have, we have Slade, who, who has been to the Elimination Dome. This is going to be interesting as, bro, there he goes as Bryce counters with a nice drop kick right to Slade as he hits the ropes. And here comes Bryce, and another one! And here comes Bryce coming strong, another drop kick. As I'll tell you right now, I mean, Bryce had a phenomenal match at 6 under, but Slade has been a role as of recently. Oh, and there goes Bryce like quickly with the headlock takedown, taking down Slade. And as you take a break, he's applying pressure as Slade pushes up back to his feet. Uh, yes, as sorry, as fuck my throat. As oh, Slade tosses Bryce into the ropes, and here he goes. As oh my God, high knee. That was almost even under the chin. He might be out cold. Yep, as uh, not, but he oh. is a loopy. Oh, definitely. As it looks like Slade is on top of the top turnbuckle right now, and Bryce does not know where he is. He's just walking around. Here comes Slade, and oh, missile drop kick! Take it down, Bryce! And the crowd is going nuts as Slade's going for the pin. Will this be it? One, two, but no, only a two count. And Slade is go as Slade is in the driver's seat right now as he's picking up Bryce. As he tosses Bryce right to the ropes, here comes Bryce and oh Slade hit comes with a tilt a roll backbreaker. Oh and oh and Slade just slaps him as he shows Bryce back as he's going for the ropes. Here comes Slade as... Oh, wait. Bryce counts an inverted atomic drop. Oh, but here comes Slade as... Slade is, like, getting up like wobbly, but oh, as Bryce is just hounding him right now as he kicks him right to the gut, hits goes to the side of the ropes, and right into a big old neck breaker. And boy, as as he's definitely going going right right into Slade as he picks him up. I mean, Slade as a cat is oh, there goes Bryce as he lifts him up and oh, right to a scoop slam. Experiences. So Slade might like, start off strong, but Bryce is pacing himself and has gotten control. That's why as oh, when they leg drop by Bryce. I had to slay that boy. Let me tell you right now, as Bryce has Bryce is on a roll right now. Yeah, and then he goes for cover one, two, and no. As it was only a two count. Ah, oh, and looks like Bryce is picking up Slade by his leg right now as he's starting to drag him back. And Bryce definitely wants this, wants this match. He's, oh, elbow right to the leg. I mean, let me tell you right now, as I said, Bryce, Bryce definitely wants this match because he wants to prove that he, he still wants, you know, to, he still wants that, that, that good title. He needs to work his way back up into that spotlight once again as he's picking up Slade. Oh boy, so here comes Bryce as he goes to ropes and oh my god, Jay, as Slade goes right to the David Lee Roth kick.
The slate's picking, picking Bryce up right now. And I mean, that was one hell of a kick by by Slade as he tosses Bryce right to the ropes. And because of oh, machete chop. As as Bryce go, as Slade goes for another kick to go as he goes to the ropes and here comes Slade. And we, oh, he went for that. For that rebound heel kick and he completely missed. Bryce is right behind him and then he goes Pele kick right to the dome. Oh man, that looks like looks like Sun is just hurting right now. It looks like uh, Bryce is getting up as as he's going right to Slade now as he picks him up. And he's on Slade right into the corner. Bryce is going to follow him immediately as it looks like he's setting Slade up for something. And he goes all oh, right to those knees to the gut as he's just going to town on Slade right now. And the ref is trying to get Bryce out of the corner, but Bryce is just going just crazy at it. He, he doesn't even care what the ref does or says. He knows he has no five, and he's up to four right now, and Bryce finally lets up a bit. As he finally backs away from the corner. And I'll tell you right now, Slade is probably, Slade is probably winded right now. As, as Bryce picks up Slade again, but... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Testicle Claw! That is not right at all! And Ruff is counting! And Slade still has it! Slade still has it on! As no nuts! And right to... He has it all right to a Shin Buster! Oh Lord! And that's something that you don't usually see from Slade. As he goes, Slade, as he goes for the moonsault. That's to be it. As he's going for the pin, one, two, and no, only a two count. That was pretty close, and it would be impressive if he got a uh, three count there. Really. Right. And now Slade's pick up Bryce again. But oh, it was Bryce counters quickly with that eye rake. As I, I'm not even, I don't know why. As Russ is watching the eyes, but there was Slade that. Oh, Bryce with his own tilt a little backbreaker. Oh, man, as it looks like. Oh, and Bryce is cool. He says it's over. He's oh, with a slate. To going for the perfect cut. A finisher that he did get a clean win over former grid champion Jeffrey Firegarden. Right, but it looks like he's going to slate it up and uh, Bryce is waiting for the perfect chance as he's going right to slate right now. As well, it looks like he's getting right behind us. As it looks like he's just sent, sent slate up. This could be Maybe it. a little too confident because he's taking his time here. Uh, there he goes. As he, has, as he has him set up. Can this be it? And there he goes. As Bryce goes. Up. Oh, perfect cut. That might be it for Slade. I don't know. It seems like they... Was a little oh, wow, wait a second. Sent him with that because he sent him way over to the ropes with that. That's right, but it looks like Slade manages to just manage to barely roll himself out of the way. As Bryce is as Bryce is mad right now. Bryce wants to go for Bryce trying to go for a pin, but Slade just walks on out of there. All this time he's taking complaining, he could have grabbed him, rolled him in, and maybe even gotten the three count. Maybe by this here comes Bryce now. 
I see he's going over afterwards that the ref was forced to reset his count. And Bryce says go right after Slade again. As oh but but Slade so again oh my god zombie puke DDT right yeah, to right, the floor. Uh, very, yeah, a very thinly padded floor. Oh my god and he's going for another one oh my god dear lord. I don't know. That was head first on that. He could be concussed or even worse. Oh my god, I think I think he might just win by count out. I mean Bryce, Bryce does is... have neck problems that forced him to uh be indefinitely out of action for a time. Oh no, and those paws may have just been reopened as Bryce is not moving and the ref is at eight. Dear Lord, there's nine, and oh my God, this is dear God, he's dead. <laughs> that so, someone get a medic out here, or something. As it says, a ten count, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you're aware of this man just slain. Well, even by count out, that is impressive to get a win over a former world heavyweight champion. Oh man, and yes, Bryce is not moving. We need medical out here, like uh, at least, as he 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 suffered two two of those DDTs right to the floor. How do we make sure that all our refs? have proper medical training so they can assess a wrestler before the medical team can come out. And he seems oh. awake, awake enough to at least shove away the ref. Yeah, Bryce, Bryce does, does not like taking a loss at all, and hell, no one should. But, I mean, dear God, as... Uh, yeah, we we know Alfie. You know we know we was, we was trying to help him up, but uh, he didn't like your help. Alfie gets himself checked in the back because if he doesn't, he might have suffered big big consequences right there. And there he goes. He's actually collapsed. Oh my god! Room. Yeah, Alfie, yeah. I think you might want to go the, and check up on Bryce and make sure that he is actually all right. Yeah, um, he he need he needs he needs to go back to medical. And so don't we decide until you've seen him into the medical office. Yeah, that, that that's gonna be interesting as as a that that was one that uh, I feel for Bryce right now so. I mean that. I mean that match was it was it was good up to a certain point, which that freaking those two DTs on floor. The second one was unneeded. Uh, that's what I feel like. Unneeded or not, it did get him what the victory. And sometimes, in some people's eyes, that's all they need, the victory. That's all. Well, here comes uh, Oliver for uh, Kendra Christensen. And I'm hearing from the back. The, the, we do have um, the announcement ready for who was in the 2014 class for the Hall of Fame. Oh, Second. boy. So, now, uh, I'll announce this since they've sent the facts to my phone. Now, this person is a former women's champion, not only here, but also out on the circuit. She's probably one of the more well-known names in SL Wrestling. And some may even say a bit classically trained. Oh. As the second entrant in the VW Hall of Fame class of 2014 will be 
Horses Morrissey. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, let that be trending everywhere. Horses Morrissey is classically in the Hall of Fame. This is, this is, you know, this is awesome. You know why? Because Nanny Gothy was submitted into the Hall of Fame earlier, and now we have horses. <laughs> wow, that's going to be interesting, but uh, whew, that's, that, that is a hell of an interesting as so. Uh -oh. As what's going on here? Oh boy! Just as we had talked about um, a hall, new Hall of Famer, we got a future Hall of Famer coming down to the ring right now. As ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your World Heavyweight Champion, DHA David Hawk Actor. I know the VWE grid is already tired of hearing people come out and talk your ears off tonight. I bet you all feel it's pretty sad and pathetic. But you know what's sad? Everyone who doubted me at six feet under. You know what's pathetic? Every one of you who bet against me for the Elimination Dome. I am the VWE Heavyweight Champion of the World! And I am pound for pound the greatest wrestler ever. And some of you ingrates were actually surprised that I walked out still the world champion. Really? And then the biggest travesty of all shows up on the VWE updater page. A large poster with the likeness of your VWE heavyweight champion of the world. And that over the hill has been Derek Colt. And the tagline, oh my god. And the tagline, get this, Icon versus Icon. Now I'm not sure who Derek had to pay back there to get that made, but I can assure you there is only one Icon in the VWE. And he's your heavyweight champion of the world. There is a sickness in the VWE of giving these past their prime superstars another chance at greatness. But that stops here. That stops now. I am a legend of the wrestling industry. I'm a bona fide icon, while Derek Colt is a man living on his past. Uh, get the fuck. Uh-oh. Of all the disrespectful bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, here's Derek Colt. <sighs> it's 
stop this. You're cheering for him. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. You're only encouraging this. What's good, everybody? What's good, big baby? That's right, big baby. The great ones in the house. I said stop it. Do not cheer for this man. DHA, DHA, DHA calm down, big baby. Hold your diapers. Hold your diapers, big baby. I don't want you to wet your panties in the ring like a little bitch. Now, DHA, while you making the disparaging remarks about me and my reputation, I take that as an insult, big baby. Oh, you should. See, I haven't even got to the disparaging remarks oh, no, yet. No, 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 no. You shut your punk ass up, big baby. Let the great one speak. You stand there and listen to me. You see, DHA, they don't call me the great one for nothing, big baby. I've beaten the best in the business to be called the greatest of all time, big baby. Unlike you, I don't set a reputation for myself going beyond backing down from matches by a dispute like a coward like you are, big baby. That's right. I come out here week after week for, the, for these people out here to truly show why I am the greatest icon in the business, big baby. Well, then let's talk about that for a second, Derek. You say you come out here week after week. No, 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 you shut the hell up and let me talk because you're just a wannabe. You're just another wannabe icon. Go ahead, Derek. DHA, all you need to worry about is putting the – no, no, no. All you need to worry about is putting that world title on the line against the real icon, the cornbread eating ass whooping son of a bitch. The knockout master, the true pound for pound, the greatest wrestler of all time, the great one, big baby. I was the icon long before you laced up your boots, big baby. You were a punk kid working for the minor leagues, idolizing the great one. You, you wanted the great one's autograph. You want to be like the great one. You see, DHA, you're you never, you never going to fill the boots of the greatest of all time, big baby, much less be in the same class as the legend that I am, big baby. Quite frankly, I have aspiration for my accomplishment throughout my career. Now that I'm the first ever two times Elimination Royale, I get to finally whoop your ass. That's right. Are, are you done now? Are you done? Oh, I ain't, I ain't done yet, big baby. Oh, good job. Uh, there, there's more coming. <laughs> well, let's, big baby, talk, big baby, about the things, big baby, and cornbread up in your ass, big baby. Let me oh, talk oh, a little don't bit. Don't take my boots and elbow and shove oh, it up I your say, ass, big I baby. I do it. I say do it. Oh, but I know what the do it? is, Derek. Don't let me go out and get in that ring, big baby. I'll knock you out. Back you to out of hold. me. So much disrespect tonight, even coming out here while I was trying to talk to these people, enlighten them about a true icon. You decided to come and interrupt when, what would have been an amazing speech. I was ready to talk about how I looked forward to Wrestle Series 6. But you know what, Derek? You showed me so much disrespect. I'm going to tell you something right now that I was holding in my back pocket. I was saving it because I didn't think it was going to be necessary. But I was going it over with my lawyer, and I found out that per subsection 15, paragraph A of the world title contract, under the Elimination Royale Clause, the champion, that's yours truly, needs to be informed of all potential challengers who could win the Royale prior to the match's start. Since the board decided they wanted to keep some of the entrants a surprise, I was not informed of anyone. I didn't even know Curtin Jackson would be pulling double duty that night. Since that didn't happen, I am under no obligation as the champion to face the Elimination Royale winner at Wrestle Series 6. Now, I was going to come out here and talk about how I look forward to putting you out once and for all. But you decided to come out here, interrupt me, and bore these people with your big baby cornbread. So, you know what? I'm going to enact that clause. I'm going to have my lawyer discuss this with the board and say, we don't need to do that match. Now, I am a true icon. I earned it by climbing my ladder through the Indies, getting here to the VWE, and climbing the ladder here again. You got spoon-fed the early years of the VWE, and now you're just living off your reputation. You're not even the great one anymore. Derek Colt, the great one, was an amazing 
athlete, an amazing performer. You're not that guy anymore, Derek. You don't deserve to be in this ring. If they're going to be having me face so-called legends, I deserve to be facing true legends like Hulk Parkin, Ludie Graves, Randy Orchid. That's who I should be facing at Wrestle Series 6. <laughs> You're really making a complete ass of yourself in that ring, big baby. Don't, don't you know who I am, big baby? Like I say, come wrestle serious. I mean, do, do you not know who you are? Are, are we having an Alzheimer's hey, moment? Hey, 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 hey. Come wrestle serious. I'm going to beat your ass in this ring, and then I'm going to knock your ass out back to Boise, Idaho, wherever you come from, uh, asshole. And I will become three-time world champion, just like that, big baby. Now, you bank on that. Derek, I'm, I'm going to just enjoy the rest of my night. You enjoy your Wrestle Series 6 sitting on the sidelines while I wait for a true challenger. What's that again? I said, since you got too much cornbread in your ears to hear me... I said, big baby, that ain't happening. Wrestle Series 6, it's gone bye-bye. Oh, no, it's... no, no, it's on. No, oh, no, you... it's not no, on. No, it's not no, on. No, it no. is literally off. I turned the light switch off. It's off. Oh. It is so off that it's been canceled for a year on the CW. See that? You're the biggest chicken shit in the world. I'm going to get that world title. Yeah, over my dead body, big baby. Well, holy hell, some heated words between David and Derek. Damn! <laughs> I'll tell you right now, if these two if these two competitors, they are they are going by to wrestle series, and boy, it looks like David is he is uh, he is all set, he is focused, he definitely wants to you know prove to the world who is the true icon. And Derek, hold oh, on, I'm not sure that match will even be happening. David did bring up some concerns here, and I'd have to check the paperwork on that. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I mean, if you look at the just the match, you know how much Linden Sal pull into this place. You will be filthy rich if that did happen. Well, as I said, I'll have to look into it. But until then, let's move on. Hi, right. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the first one since I can't trust you to handle announcing. A future Hall of Famer. All right. Hey. Yeah, you can take the next one. Introducing first, standing at five foot seven and weighing at one hundred sixty twenty six pounds from Coventry, England, the class A tonight and future Hall of Famer. Horses Morrissey. And you can clearly see the horses is definitely supporting purple as well as, uh, I believe that's breast cancer awareness. Thank you for breast cancer awareness. Oh.
Well, undoubtedly, Dicrosis is... She, she's going to have her hands full tonight, actually. Well, as Horses could be a potential person in the women's tournament, she could potentially face this person in the final round, so this could be a vision into the future. Oh, definitely. But uh, if I'll be introducing her opponent. Don't mind. That's what I told you to do. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, from an asylum, height and weight is unknown. She is Isabel. And boy, Isabel is as mean as ever, as she pretty much has a straight shot to Wrestle Series already. So, this is going to be one hell of a match. She's also hot off beating her former women's championship and former sister, Lily Martinez. That is true. And, uh, <laughs> and see, you can just tell by horses, she, she, she doesn't want to, uh, she's even telling the ref to control it. Oh my god, here goes horses, here goes, here goes Issa. And, uh, dear god, I think she scared the hell out of horses. Yep, and, it, and horses immediately just gets out of the ring like, nope. Well, technically, the match hadn't started when she ran in, so she didn't have to stay in. Well, the bell's already been rung. As looks like the ref is at two, but horses gets in the ring now as she goes to lock up with Izzy. I think that's not a smart thing to do as Izzy just easily shoves her off. And she's go for another lockup, and oh, and Izzy just shoves off again. Well, this match will be a good range to see if Isabel is actually focusing on the now, or she's looking tunnel vision to Russell series. I know. Oh, big old shoulder block by Izzy. Oh, and this is trash talk. I say at least try and horses is horses call for a timeout. Oh wait, but here comes is a and oh, she just tosses her over. And, oh, what was that? Nice that this is my horses that she just rolls, rolls right through with that hip toss. That's clearly a rope break, and then she pulls her right off at. Oh, but, oh, there she goes, a big old hip toss, oh my, oh my god. Um, I think horses just ate turnbuckle from that hip toss. And Iza is, Iza is just like a shark in water, she smells blood. And she's going after it, oh, mule kick by horses! A very excellent plea place kid to the abdominals. That's why it's, oh, horses with an elbow strike as she goes to hit the ropes and, oh, another elbow strike trying to knock the big woman down as she goes for a third time and, oh, she has, she almost has her. I mean, Isabel's teetering, but nope. And the horses just goes well, so she hits the ropes again and, oh my god! Back by the and, oh! Horses manages to catch her. It'll she take more than that to outclass a classically trained wrestler. And oh my god, she just said, oh dear god. What the hell oh was that? Oh my god. She was in the oh ropes. My... Yeah, this is Izzy... not classical like courses was requesting. Yeah, but Izzy just kicked her pretty much all out, out from, from, her, from her hands. And the heart, that, that was a nasty drop. And horses does not know where she is right now. 
And oh god, Isabel has that. She 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 has she, that. She, she soft called a timeout. Hot ref. She called a timeout. Uh, there are no timeouts in the mess, Lynn. Hey, sometimes you need to make sure you're not injured. Really? Don't want what happened to Bryce. Oh, but there you go. A nice face palm to get her out of her face. That was a poke to the eye. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and oh, drop kick right to the face of Isa, uh, and that is bad because of that mask that she has on. And uh, horses immediately saying it's over. What she plans to do? Well, with Mas her long illustrious career, she has a whole arsenal. Oh God, she finishes off with. And she tosses it. Oh my God! As oh, Isabel just fold flat on horses. Um, is is that pin? The ref probably should try yeah, to count. I was about to say, uh, one, two, and uh, no. See, see, I'll take more than that. And I think, I think Horses just lost her breath. And is oh, it like, Give her a chance to catch her breath. There's catchy buff and there's like, oh, here comes there's a as big ol' Heine! It's not gonna that. Oh my god, that is is just choking oh, the Oh, come on, hell. man. Count that. Come on, she's in the ropes. That is the creepiest laugh I've ever heard. Well, now she counts. Now. Yeah, but it looks like what's this? Uh, it looks like Izzo is not done yet. And she says, out of the corner, sure. And she got out of the corner. Oh! Quick leg sweep See? by horses. There you go. Isabel might have the size. I got one. And only a one count. Well, horses has got an arsenal that she's been honing for years. And oh my doesn't god. doesn't matter what size. That's what got up quickly also, but she's onto her leg and oh big old chop and she just as horses tries to toss is it right to the rope says it's gonna Oh rear view See there you go She's not the, the object, right back down yep. The object in the mirror is closer than it appears as she's going for the cover One and only a one count Oh come on Had there been more than one count Nope I feel you don't like Isa. No, I just have proper respect for a future Hall of Famer. And oh my god, there she for a kick it. Oh god, uh dead. Uh horses just ate clothesline and that was ow. And oh just uh, oh my god and Isabel's just going to town on horses with those punches, those elbow strikes. And she tosses horses right to the ropes, and here she goes and Lady a dear god, she just knocked her head oh, clean come off. On. That's clearly under the chin, right in the throat. That's not legal at all. I don't know, but let's say let's say horses is getting up. She's stunned though as Isabel goes to the ropes. And here she comes and says, Oh, she went for the, for the split personality spear, but no! Horses manages to just jump over Isabel. Once again, superior uh, knowledge is taking advantage. Oh, and, oh my god, and looks like once you go, Oh! As horses goes for Lady Goldivar's tax protest. See, now this is clearly over. I don't know, but oh my god, horses head to the top. As Isabel's managing to get up, and man, Isabel, like, just we gonna always say, what's as horses will oh, start, she's like, nope. And oh my god, here she comes. And oh, kick to the gut, but oh, wait, here goes Isabel again. Oh, oh my god, oh my, what, 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 horses get it, horses get it, she's going for a country punch. She might just have it. Oh, oh, it's she over. has it. The it's country over. Crunch. Not a ref. That's me, it's oh, wait, one, two, wait, for three on the ropes! Oh, I had a fast count! What? What? 
What? What are you talking about? That was a clear three count. That was the fastest car I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. That really? is the most well-paced count I've ever seen from a ref. And, and the food was on the ropes. Really? Kendra! Really? I didn't see any foots on the ropes. Oh my god, but the horses bear on me as Isa is after her ass! <laughs> the ref didn't see it. And if the ref don't see it, it didn't happen. Really? Oh my god, I just lost place on that in the fantasy draft. Dear god. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And as we saw just right there, that is how a classically trained future Hall of Famer wins a match against a muscle-bound brute. Oh, yeah, with, 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 with friggin' legs are open, all that jazz. Yeah, real good job. Okay, let's settle this. We'll get a neutral party to decide this for us. Kendra, you were the closest to the action. Were there any oh, feet God. on the ropes? Oh, really? Oh, I am livid right now. <laughs> All refs are biased. Come on. Uh-huh. Alright. Anyway, let's move on with this match See? before I lose. There we go. Let's move on with this match in the show before I lose the color of my hair. Well, there we go then. Take us back to our next commercial break. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, just let everybody know that we have our two sponsors, as we have the Jazz Club and Simple Desires, as uh, they are, you know, as they are our sponsors. And, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is this the right one? Hold up. <laughs> are you having the wrong paperwork again? Uh, maybe. Seriously? It's, it, it, I mean, I... Yes, I did, but now I have a good one. Jazz Club, DDRT, and Simple Desires. Team Wildfire! Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking to help your awesome blaze out videos? Team Wildfire can make that happen with 100% custom videos as well as a fire package. Catch our classes on YouTube.com slash Lion Team Wildfire. You can contact the Lion Phoenix or yours truly, Captain Falcon. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn. Club Galaxy. Club Galaxy, our aim is to be the best that we can possibly be while having fun. Our staff is always looking to grow so we can continue to be the best that we can with all that said. We are always looking for new exciting talent to help us do that. Whether you are a DJ, a host, or something unique to offer us in our relaxed atmosphere, we are looking for you. When you come to visit us at Club Galaxy, located on Three Riverson, you will find friendly, fun-loving people looking to have a blast listening to those awesome tunes our DJs are playing from a variety of categories, including the great requests you might have. So join us at Club Galaxy and be ready to have some fun. Open seven days a week, anywhere from 10 a.m. SLT to 10 p.m. SLT. Hope to see you there. For more information, please contact John Strzok, Strzok a 2 resident, Nikki Strzok, Nikki Zong, or Alicia T. Michaels, Pulse Moneybags Trice. Jesus, can they make these ads shorter? <clears throat> Next is, uh... <clears throat> Do you want to learn more about your favorite SL wrestlers in Second Life? TyrusDenova.blogspot.com has your information of your favorite SL wrestlers. Update weekly with new interviews. If you're interested, contact Tyrus Denova Survivor in World. Get like me, big baby animations by Derek Holt. Giving you brand new animations and custom moves in the world of professional wrestling in Second Life. For more information, contact Derek Holt in World. Fans of fun. <clears throat> Push to Start is the here to provide you a place where you can have fun in a stress-free environment. Brought to you by Alicia T. Michaels. Push to Start is not just your typical arcade. At Push to Start, not only can you come to have fun and post your high scores, but also enjoy a movie theater. Update often with movies both new and old. As well as you can chill and ha have fun with periodic events to keep you entertained. At Push to Start, our aim is to make sure you have fun here with us and are well entertained with things such as competition based contests to prove you are the best player and earn rewards and prizes special events and more to come in the future please sure to check back often for all the latest and become a VIP today and keep up on all the latest we have to offer hope to see you there push to start Alicia T. Michaels 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to View to Me tonight as we are proud for your entertainment. Please feel free to donate any possible links behind this commentary table in the collection box behind us. And yeah, all donations are certainly appreciated. If you're looking for a way to promote yourself or your place of business outside of normal means of simple ad boards or wasting money on classifieds, if you're working, if you want to pro, uh, if you want your product to or service to be seen and heard in front of a live audience as well as on demand, Virtual Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VW is a great way to promote your product and services as we promote you throughout our arena, our website, during our two weekly live shows, and on our show replays. Please feel free to contact Ash Cuervo, Austin Knight, or Bryce Ketterly. Ah, <sighs> give me a second, I need to catch my breath. Well, you're catching your breath. I got word that f earlier today we caught some footage as um, Mr. Nirvana was on the move today. Oh, on the move, huh? Okay, good. Uh, let's see what's up. All right, I'm here for Kurt Bombastic. He's posted bond, as you can see. These are the bond papers. All right, let me him. just check those real quick. All right, let's go get him. Down here on the right. Kurt <sighs> Bombastic. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> What was it this time, Kurt? Did you steal Take the Stanley while, Cup because you knew that the Ottawa Senators weren't going to win the Stanley Cup? Or was it the Toronto Maple Leafs this time? Or hey, was it the Canadian. pornography bill that you refused to pay since you ordered them on cable TV? Hey, nothing's wrong with porn. And the, as Canadian, I have that right. But no, it's not the case. I'm in here because of that jackass Stuart Wharf. What did you do? What did what did I do? What did I do? I did nothing. He was scared of me, and he put me in here, calling me crazy. Just because I'm destroying what's left of descent doesn't mean I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, oh raw. yeah, okay, that's him. Let him out. All right, you're free to go, Mister Bombastic. Come here, Kurt. Talk with me for a second. <laughs> now, look. I know how to deal with Stuart Wharf, okay? Oh, I know how to still deal with him, too. <laughs> I don't care. You gotta do things the trucker lawyer way. Not the crazy break-in shit way. Alright? No, 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 no. See, I'm glad he put me in there, because I have an idea. Come on. Let's go, let's go. We'll talk about this. <laughs> oh, boy. Do we need to go to McDonald's? You, you need something to Ooh, eat? That sounds, like, that sounds like a plan. Maybe a Big Mac? Would you like a Ooh, Big Mac? Like that, yeah. I know you like Big Macs. That's right. I, I know you Macs. do. Come on, let's go. Oh, boy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me know that Kurt Basic is out of jail. As he had the get out of jail trucker lawyer card... Something we unfortunately seen plenty through the years. Uh, Austin, are you worried? I don't know what you're talking about. This is all under Stu's um, decision, so I have no play in this. Okay. But I'm going to handle this as we're going to do the main event now. So while I get in the ring, you hype them up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. So please put your hands together and make some noise.
Now where's my hat? Okay, production, bring him on out. Hey, Scotty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our scheduled Edge main event. But before we do this, I had forgotten to mention that we should bring out our special guest timekeeper. Come on out. Special guest timekeeper? Oh no! Speak of the devil and he shall come! <laughs> As it looks like our special timekeeper is none other than Kieran Darkwatch. And nice heels. <laughs> oh damn! I got no win in this whatsoever. This is an official capacity. He's under contract, and thus he can perform any duty that I 
ask, and this, I've asked them to do a timekeeper job today. Anyways, let's continue this. In this corner, from Italy, standing at six foot eight and weighing at two hundred and sixty, two hundred fifty six pounds, the Italian dragon, Alexius Gent. And in this corner, from Cincinnati, Ohio, Sandy at 5'11", and weighing at 150 pounds, the not-so-very-boyish church boy, Vince Easterwood. And presenting as our official for this match, the very honorable and unbiased Kendra. And, as mentioned earlier, our special guest timekeeper, Mr. Kieran Darkwatch. And with that, everyone enjoy our main event, and let's get this underway. Okay, personally aside, if if this doesn't look like it's a setup, I don't know what is. Alright, we got Kendra as the ref, and we got Kieran as the special timekeeper. I'm a little skeptical about some of these decisions, Mr. Knight. I don't know what you so be so suspicious about. Well, but nonetheless, here, here they go as uh, Alexis and Vince go one-on-one -on -one as I've never seen both of them in the ring at the same time together. So this is sure to be interesting, I hope. And there goes uh, Vince with a lockup. And, oh, Vince immediately shoves, off, shoves Alexis. And oh, straight into a kick to the gut as he goes right to the ropes. Says, here he comes and oh, the spear! Immediately! <laughs> I don't know. He's still wearing that coat, and that has a lot of jagged edges. I don't know. The ref should make sure he's taking that off. I was actually going to ask the same thing, but it looks like Vince just wanted to fight with the coat on. And oh, wait a second. Alexis, go, go quickly around, went to his overstock into a side headlock. And let's go. Like, oh, Alexis says, oh, he's taking him down. Now wait, Vince is going for the pin. One and no, only one count. And yeah, let's see, uh, they're both going as Vince is starting to stand up real quickly as he tosses Alexis right to the ropes. Here he comes, hitting the ropes fast as, oh, wait a second, as Vince goes to the ropes, and oh, right into a drop kick. And yeah, it looks like, it, like Alexis is down. And boy, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a fast paced this is gonna be a very fast paced match. I'm still not liking this. As I said, he's still got the coat on. That could definitely be used as a weapon. Look at all the straps. You can take one of those off and choke him with it. Billy. Hey, this is the same person that locked Maxwell Ryan into a chokehold after he lost the match against him. Uh, true, but uh, I mean, look, uh, Vince already tossed his jacket in Maxine, so. I mean, it looks like Vince was trying to just rush this, so. <laughs> I mean. Anything is possible, as. Oh, Vince goes for a kick to the gut! And there was Vince right to a front face lock now. And oh, wait a second, he has a bit. Oh, neck breaker! True, true. I'd have to agree with our timekeeper. Uh, 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 come on now. 
as Vitz goes to ropes, and here he comes, and right to an oh, knee drop, right to the head. And Alexis holds his head hard as that was a Vince knee drop. Oh, wait a second, leg drop! I'm ignoring behind me. I'm completely ignoring behind me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to agree with him. But, uh, oh, knee to the gut as Alexis tosses Vince right into the ropes. And, oh, wait a second, Alexis has him. He has him up and some more wind drop! Yeah, there goes Alexi there. Oh, leg, uh, he hits the rope right to a leg drop. Oh, Alexi is picking Vince up now. That's, oh, wait, but Vince shoves him off. Hey, 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 come on, that looks a little low to me. No, really? Yes, he's going for, oh, wait, here goes Vince. Oh, rebound crossbody. No, yes, really. Come on. Can you only see what you want to see? Earlier you're claiming a low blow, and now we're clear ones right there. Uh, oh, it. Lion Salt. Lion Salt by Vince. I'll say Vince is going for the pin. Will this be it? One and only a one count. It looks like a like vaccine with with some uh, good uh, good advice from Vince. And oh, here comes here comes uh, Alexis as he's going for those clubs. Does need good as he tosses Vince right into the corner. And Alexis is backing up now. All the advice in the world won't matter if he can't live up in this environment. Like Kieran stated, he can't. All right, but there goes Alexis. He's going for those knee, good knees to gut. Wait, right, but here comes Alexis again. Go for it. Oh! That awesome double uh, drop kick. Uh, basement drop kick. I don't even know what the hell to call that. Oh, but Alexis, go for the pin now. Will this be it? One, One two, three. Uh, nope. Oh, okay, oh, I think I'm credit. He got it up just in time. It's only a two count. Well, it's just might as well be academic here. Oh, but the master of skies, Alexius, is getting to the top. All right, there he goes. As Alexius go for flammable drop. Oh, he missed. He had nothing but elbow. I like Bro too. No one cares. And it looks like uh, Alexis is getting up wobbly. And oh my gosh, you can just hear just the uh, chapter between Kieran and Maxine as, oh wait, Vince is good to go right to a wrist lock. Uh oh. They got to know what Vince is setting up now. As I goes for a strike to a wrist lock as he continues working there as, go for rededication! I don't know, no, I don't know. I think I saw some hair pulled in that one. As he was reaching around, I saw a handful of hair. Oh, I said, but Vince picks him up and oh, we go right into a cross face! Oh my god, will this be it? Come on, ref. Check him, make sure that's not under the chin. I don't know, but Alexis is trying to go for the ropes right now. As he barely is able to reach it. As the ref is counting, but as Vince was able to, as Vince was forced to let go.
Yeah, it looks like Alexis is just climbing on top of her rope, says. As he's just barely able to to hang on, and right now Vitz is good for the ropes, and here he comes, goes straight after Alexis, and oh, jump to him, oh my god, as Vitz just rebounds right off of those ropes right there. And Vince does what he always does, he chokes when the pressure's on. Oh, oh, come on, sir! <laughs> As Alexis is picking up Vince, and oh, as as he's going for the, for a left cross, as he tosses Vince right to the ropes, and here comes Vince again. Oh, but oh, right to armbar takedown. And this is this is a great position for Alexis. As oh, wait a second, it looks like Vince is starting to stand up. Vince is starting to fight back as he's fighting back right now. And this is bad for Alexis right now as, oh, ball of waste. And Alexis is not letting go of that wrist just yet. Try as he might, all that techno skills not getting him out of this. Oh, wait a second. there he goes. He's just flipping out of the way right to his own wrist lock as Vince goes right to that arm again into a hammer lock. I'm going to tell you right now, it's very tough to uh, get out some of these holes. As Vince is very known for being a, submi a submission specialist. As, oh! Strikes to the back of, back of his own. He goes for the ropes. And there goes Vince all right to his own armbar. Oh, come on. Could he be a little more original? Plus, he's just said that, and he's already stealing it from him. I can't say anything. I can't say Not anything. Not only does he choke, he's a freaking thief. Oh my god. As, as I mean, Alexis is right now just on the mat right now as Vince is in control, but oh, wait a second. See? Come on. That's such a sloppily applied hold. He was gonna get out of that. Yep, but wait a second, Vince tosses Alexis right to... Oh, wait a second! Oh, Whisper in the Wind! <laughs> Out of freaking nowhere by Alexius! It looks like Alexius just barely get up as, as Vince is down. Oh, once again, he's on the defensive. And I was like, oh, it's. I was like, Alexis, I pushed Vince off and, oh, right to a kick to the gut. And, oh, wait a second, oh, as he's locked up the, the abdominal stretch. There we go. Some originality, some skill. I don't even know, as, oh, boy, as. The crowd, the crowd is saying yes. Yeah, yes, they want him to tap. Come on, listen to the fans. Yeah, but, oh, as Vince Keller is right into an arm drag. Taking, taking Alexis down. Jeez, for someone who says he's a man of the people, he didn't listen to him at all. Oh, uh, come on, really? But the fans clearly were asking him to say yes. Yeah, but to what? Always say, there goes Vince as he go for that front foot leg drive. Oh! That has to be it. And it looks like, oh, this is good for a couple. One, two, and no. Is no, that no, legit? No. Yeah. It take more than that. Take more than that to take out someone at Alexia's skill level. Someone who's actually achieved something here. Oh my god. And Vince is picking up Alexis as he's tossing right to the crowd. Oh my god, that's whoa! That's, looks like Alexis managed to catch himself on the ropes. He managed to catch himself on the turbo, but that was a pretty. pretty scary. Oh, but wait a second, Vince has other ideas as he's going to Alexis, and the, oh my god, drop you for the bind, and there goes Alexis down to the freaking floor. What the hell was that? He's clearly in the ropes, 
And what does Mr. Fairplay do? He kicks him. Uh, I see your sign. You can't make an excuse this time, can you? Uh, as we're watching over the match, as the ref is only at the three count. And... And ref is at five now. And what is it? As oh, call breaker! As Vince, as Vince was caught, Vince was caught by Alexis running into a call breaker. <laughs> choke, choke. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God! As Alexis is just. That was literally out of nowhere, and I don't think, I don't think Vince is is, is capable of doing something like to, you know counter back as he gets tossed right into the middle of the ring by Alexis as Alexis going right back after him. Of course, he didn't expect that. He's got to actually have the mind frame of a winner to actually think of things like that. And it looks like Alexis is back up into the road side now as he goes to the top turnbuckle. And there he goes, and oh, he hits the elbow drop this time. Oh, he's hit this time. He might as well about count to three. This is over. As there you go, one, two, and no. All right, I'll give him credit. I've never said he's a horrible wrestler. But when the big time happens, when you gotta actually pull it through, when has he actually done that here? I don't even know. Yeah, it looks like, uh, oh, wait a second, let's just Google Snake Eyes! Oh boy, it looks like uh, Alexis is still not done yet. I think it speaks for myself, Miss Starkwatch, with the successful company I have. Well, Mr. Easterwood, what does he have? An upcoming loss, apparently, because he just got hit with a diving double knees. Oh man! As always, as unless he's gonna go for the pin. One, be it. two, and nope. Okay. Only a two count. And Alexius can't believe it. No, well, he's resilient. I'll give him. I'll, I'll give him that. As oh, let's say both Vince and Alexius get up there. Yes, yeah, so it looks like uh, Vince and uh, Alexis are up. Uh, oh, kick to the gut by Vince. There we go with another little kick. As he goes to the road, here he comes. Goes, oh, wait, he's going. Oh, no. Crossroads. Crossroads. That has to be it. That has to be it. Nah, that's definitely not it. Oh my god, that's like a last oh wait a second. Vince is setting him up for Moonsault. Vince is up on the top rope. This is this could be go either way. Oh wait, but it looks like Alexis is getting up. Yeah, it looks like uh Alexis is up. Like Vince has been up there for a while now. Scene. Oh, hang on. Go home now. Wait, what? Over you and what fucking army? How about this army? The chair, the freaking 
It's my Johnny Shoulder. If I remember night, you fucking did not bring your manager's license tonight, did you? Yeah, we have licenses for that. Manager's license. It's the same as my wrestling license. Did you bring that tonight? No. You want an empty handed. That means you don't have a right to be back here. And unlike some people, I actually respect the vows of marriage. And maybe you should actually listen to your husband and get to the back and go home. Uh, wait, wh oh, what? I take it you'd like to take. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> um, oh, God. We've got a match, so I think you should start focusing on that. As Miss Starkwatch leaves. Is it? Oh, my God, here comes Alexis! Oh! Springboard DT! And Vince did not even see that coming at all. That's what happens when you focus on something that's none of your business. Oh my god, and oh no, as Alexis has that giant's clutch locked in. She still has that giant's clutch locked in. Oh my God! It's, I, I don't know. I don't know if Vince could could get out of this. I just still don't know. Oh, come on, where's his technical skill now? He's supposed to be this technical master. Come on, escape! And, and Maxine is telling Vince to shake it off, but I mean, I don't know. It's like I was like, Maxine's not going to back just yet. Oh my God! As Vince just taps. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match is the Italian Dragon, Alexis Gant. Screw this shit. As that's one hell of a match, but with what the hell has gone over here, I, I don't know. And there goes Maxine. She sees him choke and she's already leaving his side. I don't know how you deal with her, Karen. I don't know how you deal with her at all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our last match for tonight. So wrap us up. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's been last night for tonight. So I, this is me, Captain speaking, Rainbow Falcon, alongside with the majority shareholder, Austin Knight. And we'll be seeing you guys next time. I said, forgot something. My hat. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like,
comment and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching and happy wandering.